Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabreb. Welcome to episode one of the all-time San Diego Padres team. We're going to be taking the all-time players that have paid, played for the Padres and playing some games with them online, upgrading the squad throughout the year. These videos will be rolling out throughout the entire cycle of MLB The Show 20, and we're also doing it for over 10 teams. The Phillies episode one is already posted. Link in the description. Be sure to check that out. So let's dive in to this all-time San Diego Padres roster as it stands right now. Honestly, pretty stacked team. I was surprised how good this team is. Uh, a lot of guys played with San Diego early or late in their career, it seemed like. So a lot of options here. Um, I also tried to pick guys that spent a decent amount of time with the Padres. That's why we have Klesko in over someone like Victorino or Joe Carter, because he was honestly more of a Padre than they were, if that makes sense. So for the outfield, we got Klesko, Trammell, and Mr. Padre himself, Tony Gwynn. On the infield, we got Mike Piazza, Fernando Tatis Jr., Ozzie Smith at shortstop, Roberto Alomar at second base, and Willie McCovey at first base. On the bench, we got Steve Finley, Gary Sheffield, Ricky Henderson, Joe Carter, and Shane Victorino. Sheffield actually spent a lot of his early days in San Diego, but would be kind of lame to use him in the starting lineup for this, in my opinion. So again, that's why we got Klesko in there. And then the pitching. The pitching's really good. We just got 96 Luis Patino as the headliner. Who He's who we're going to be pitching with uh, in this one. We also got Mackenzie Gore from the Prospect Collection, another good card. But this bullpen is pretty good. We got Brad Hand and Oliver Perez, two funky lefties. And we got two solid righties and then three diamond righties. Of course, with Trevor Hoffman being our closer, would be super cool to try to close out some games with Hoffman on the all-time San Diego Padres squad. So with that being said, we're going to pitch with Luis Patino. Let's jump into some gameplay. Oh man, this guy's got a Padres logo too. <laughs> it's the San Diego all-time Padres against the San Diego Drays. Of course, we're hitting against Corey Kluber. Uh, but we're home. We're going to get to play at Petco. Nice aesthetic for this Padres team. All right, we shall see how this Luis Patino does. He didn't look very good to me on paper, I'll be honest. The per nines are nice, but the stuff seems very generic, and his delivery seems very generic as well, so... <laughs> I might get lit up in this game. We'll see what happens. Ellipsis, kind of. Ellipsis again. I'm literally so scared to pitch to Reggie Jackson every time I face him, dude, which is like every game. <laughs> this card owns me. Can I please just walk him? I don't even care. You gotta pick your battles, chat, you know? My battle is not against Reggie Jackson. That's what I have learned over this ranked season. Ellipsis! The triple ellipsis! Patino striking out the side in the first. Tony Gwynn down the line. Dude, my very earlies stay fair every single time I do it. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Every time I swing very early at an away pitch, it's a fair ground out for some reason. Piazza got a hang and slurve. Perfect, perfect. That's going to be a double at the base of the wall. Dang, bummer that one didn't get out. But we will take our double. Runner in scoring position, two outs. At least we got something going in the first. Get a little pressure on Kluber. McCovey works the walk. We're getting that pressure on him. I love Taylor Trammell in this game, man. His swing is so nice. Give us a nice early lead. That's not going to do it. Great pitch. That was disgusting. He tunneled a cutter right before that, too. Dang. Well, we got a perfect, perfect double and then a walk. Just could not capitalize. My batting average with runners in scoring position this year is like 100, dude. It's rough in these streets. Good hit by my opponent there. Puts it in play. Right to the center fielder, though. One down. Ellipsis. Ooh, almost dropped the changeup on him. <laughs> Ellipsis. Patino. Five strikeouts through two. Dominating. Klesko with the four-pitch walk. Now we got slugger Ozzie Smith in the dish with his 40 power. <laughs> There's a reason this man is batting eight hole. Can we do anything? Ozzy Smith versus Corey Kluber is like probably the worst matchup in the entire game. Oh, he challenged me with a sinker! Oh, it was a four seam. Did I get it all? Oh man. Imagine Ozzy just went deep there. My PCI was just off. 
Nothing doing for either of us through two, although we did get to turn the lineup over by having Patino finish that inning off, so looking good at the prospects for next inning. Let's keep pitching. I am terrified of Byron Buxton. This guy's entire lineup is just people that I have given up thousands of home runs to. Kluber up the middle. Yo, Ozzy Smith's going to drop that, though. I made the dive in everything. <laughs> oh, if anyone was going to make that play, it's Ozzy, dude. I wonder if I could have got there without diving. Maybe that's why I dropped it. Maybe I messed it up. Dude, Ozzy closed on that ball so fast. That was insane. Tramel just crushed that changeup. That might have been perfect, perfect, to be honest. I don't have headphones in, so I couldn't hear it, but... That definitely should have put my opponent up 2 to nothing. That was terrifying. <laughs> Tatis follows it up with the same swing result. My opponent's so sad, dude. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Patino through three. Oh, man. Just early. <laughs> oh, I hit that a mile. Hangs me the slurve. Good squared right to the center fielder. Lord knows he earned that last inning, so we're half even. <laughs> Tony Gwynn to right. Now we're full even. Man. Tough out. Threw the slurve to Piazza again. We crushed it again. This time for a single. All right. McCovey and Trammell. Another opportunity. Piazza, just an on-base machine this game. 116 power versus right right now. Can we do anything? McCovey to dead center. And it's a good okay. <laughs> dude, all three of our outs that inning were pieced. Tough, dude. They do say Petco Park is pitcher's park, so maybe I played myself. Posey down the right field line. He's definitely getting a single on this. No way he's challenging Tony Gwynn right now. No way he's challenging Tony Gwynn. He's safe, bro. <laughs> How is he safe on that? Good hit by my opponent again. This is just a good okay fest. Patino threw four, pitching well, but his stamina is already almost in the yellow. Not even 60 pitches. Kind of concerning. Trammell up the middle, first pitch. Perfect liner. We got some speed on base. Let's do something with it. Tatis. Early on the slurve. Did I get it all? I didn't get it all. Oh, man. I was early. Early okay. Probably shouldn't be a home run, but dude, that was right there. Klesko up the middle. Perfect grounder. At least beat it out at first. All right. Two perfect, perfect singles. We got our eight hole up. Ozzie Smith again. <laughs> Ozzie Smith's getting all the RBI opportunities. And he works the walk. So base is juiced. Going to strike out on purpose with my pitcher, and that's going to allow us to have Alomar up with the bases loaded two outs, unless he walks me. Highly unlikely, but we would definitely take it. Here we go. Robbie Alomar, biggest at bat of the game. Rolls over a changeup first pitch. <laughs> that's awful. He took the slurve inside and lines out to first. Off the bat, I thought that was over the head of the first baseman and down the line. <laughs> I got so excited. Oh, it was a ball. Probably didn't deserve a hit, but man, that is tough. Our opponent pitching out of a couple jams so far. This is going to come down to who can string together a couple solo home runs. I can already tell. Down the line, McCovey, no reaction. He's trying me at second again. Tony Gwynn, can you get him this time? No. <laughs> he is really pushing it out there, and it's worked out both times. All right, well, now we got to put our second baseman in. Perfect bunt, and he's going to be safe at first. Unreal, man. <laughs> this is how we're going to lose. I put bunt defense on and everything. There's just nothing you can do about that. Just popped it straight up. Beautiful bunt by my opponent. Just got to go to first for the out. Oh, that's tough. Great hit by my opponent. Tony Gwynn should get this, right? Yeah, easy diamond defense. So, he gave up a very early double into a bunt single, into a safety squeeze for a run. We're down one nothing. This lineup is definitely capable of scoring, though, so we should be all right. Under the slurve, just barely. 
Tony Gwynn doesn't have the power to do much with that pitch anyway if I had to hit a perfect fly ball or something. Into right center, it's going to hang up. Oh, dang, man, I feel like I'm swinging it so well. McCovey to center, I was so early. Oh, oh we're shut out through five. The Kluber effect is real. Up the middle, Reggie Jackson. Good start for my opponent. We definitely got to get some arms warming up in the pen. Patino getting a little tired. Cannot allow this lead to balloon. Posey up the middle. Can Ozzy get there? He cannot. First and second. Nobody out. This is terrifying. Payoff pitch. He sent both runners and crushed it. Can we get the runner at second, maybe? I wanted to go to first. He's got a bad animation, honestly. Uh, but we also got lucky that he didn't hit that out because that was a great swing. Ellipsis, huge strikeout. Gorman up the middle. Ozzy might make this play. I was going to go to second. Pulling Kluber for Blake Snell, no hesitation. Probably double switched as well. Uh, I think this is the 89 Blake Snell. The 95 just came out today. I can't imagine he would pitch with him in relief. I guess we can take a look. It is the 89. All right, not trying to face the 95. <laughs> Tramel leading us off. Speed again. Let's try to get him on base. He busted me up and in, and I was just late on it. Tati's the other way. Our third perfect perfect of the game. Our third single on them as well. But we got something rolling. 89 speed on base. Klesko versus a lefty. Little bit of a bummer. <laughs> Klesko cannot hit lefties very well. Amazing pitch. Perfect curveball. Got me swinging at it in the dirt. Could have probably fouled that off. I don't know. It's tough. <laughs> Ozzy Smith in a big spot yet again. Rips it into the gap. Get over his head. Perfect liner. Don't ground rule. Oh, no. Ozzy Smith <laughs> just tied it up with a perfect liner in the gap. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. And now you know we got to uh, go to Sheffield's kind of lame here, huh? We'll go to Joe Carter. I really don't want Sheffield on this team build, man. He's just too good of a card. We'll try get Joe Carter here. Definitely a good spot to go to the bench, though. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Patino was in the yellow energy. No brainer. What a huge double by Ozzy Smith. Carter to left. I don't think I got it all. <laughs> this game is crazy. Going to my boy Raleigh Fingers in a 1-1 game. Definitely want to try to close with Hoffman just for the experience. And this is the best spot for our best reliever. He also did not double slit switch for Blake Snell. So he will be pinch hitting and getting Blake Snell out of there. We'll see who he ends up bringing in for the last three innings. Eddie Matthews off the bench. I am officially puckered. This guy owns me, <laughs> and he gets a single up the middle. I told you, dude, that's not a guy I want to pitch to in a tie game in the seventh. That is for sure. Ellipsis. Huge inning from Raleigh, dude. Man, this game is so intense. One to one going into the bottom of the seventh. We are facing a cap. Probably a submariner. <laughs> He's huge, dude. Look at him. Oh, that's hilarious. What does he throw, 99? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. The all-time Padres team taking on legend Weldon Johnson. <laughs> That's nasty, bro. <laughs> Drop. Oh. Tony Gwynn to right just does not have the power. Two down. Piazza to left. Early swinging at the changeup. Is that staying in two? <laughs> oh, it's gone. Yes. Early okay against the Cap Submariner. Gives us a 2 to 1 lead in the 7th. Uh, usually I say early okays do not deserve home runs, but with the pitcher this guy brought in, he probably deserved it. <laughs> That's my excuse. The Covey flies out to left. We have the lead. We got Raleigh Fingers on the mound. We got Trevor Hoffman waiting in the wings. One more solid inning out of Raleigh, and we are sitting pretty in this one. Didi rolls it over. Seems like my opponent's pressing a little bit. Great two innings from Raleigh. 
We're going to the bottom of the eighth, and you know we got Trevor Hoffman warming up in the pen for the ninth inning. Let's bring this dub home. Let's go down the left field line <laughs> very late. Oh, man, these garbage hits. All right, guess who's up with a chance to do some more damage? The best hitter on our team, apparently, Mr. Ozzie Smith. What you got for us? Great pitch, right on the black. Nothing I could do. Two to one, bottom of the ninth. It's Trevor Hoffman time. These are the moments he was made for. Got it done so many times in his career in one run saves. Can he get it done here? Shot into the gap, first pitch. Klesko can't get there. Lead off double for my opponent. Oh man, this is getting nuts. <laughs> Struck him out on the high fastball. One down, big, big strikeout. Byron Buxton hung the change up and he's bunting. I forgot that he's been bunting. I need to put my second baseman in. <sighs> big pitch, big, big pitch here. Cut her away, struck him out again. Two down in the ninth. Who's coming off the bench for my opponent's last ditch try? It's Cargo. Hoffman versus Cargo for the win, for all the marbles. Strike one on the cutter, up and in. Very late. Seems like my opponent is sitting changeup. And he turned it around. 0-2 count. Let's try to tunnel a changeup. This is a very dangerous pitch, but I threw it perfectly. Ellipsis! <laughs> yes, dude. Two to one, we win. Trevor Hoffman strikes out the side for the save. Ozzie Smith hit a freaking RBI double. The game winning run was an early okay. Swing on a cap reliever. What a weird game. Piazza was a triple away from the cycle. Definitely the MVP. The bullpen, all the pitching killed it, man. Even the inning where we gave up one, we could have easily got out of there with nothing. So. Hope you guys enjoyed All Time Padres episode one. Like I said, stay tuned for many more of these episodes to come and not just this team, but many other teams as well. Drop a like on the video, helps me out a ton. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.